You guys loved the beginner friendly face wash I shared last week. So now I'm gonna be doing a beginner friendly body lotion recipe that I think you guys are also gonna love. It's super easy to make and I've also made it really easy for you guys to find all the ingredients. If you go over to my Amazon storefront, which I've linked in the description box, you can click on the DIY beginner friendly body lotion and I link to all the ingredients and equipment you need to make this product. And you can also just find everything else I use regularly in my lab and stuff. But I'll also link in the description box of YouTube to where I buy the ingredients from my like ingredient suppliers that aren't Amazon. If you're new here, hey, what's up? My name's Tara. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I upload and go check out all the other videos I've shared on my channel. There's so much content you can binge watch. So here's the formula I'm gonna be working with. I did try to keep it as simple as possible for beginners, but there are some necessary ingredients that do need to be in a body lotion, such as a humectant, which is glycerin, an emulsifier, that's a BTMS 50. This is also gonna be conditioning the skin, cetyl alcohol, which is a thickener, oil and butter to help moisturize, vitamin E as an antioxidant, the preservative, and then the fragrance oil. I'm gonna start out with working on phase A and you wanna make sure you're using a heat safe container. I'm gonna add in 538.4 grams of distilled water. You can use a hydrosol here if you want or aloe vera liquid. Then I'm gonna add in 64 grams of glycerin. This is a humectant that will help hydrate the skin. And that is it for phase A. I'm gonna set that to the side and then grab another heat safe beaker for phase B. I'm gonna add in 32 grams of BTMS 50. This is a cationic emulsifier. It helps condition the skin and it will help blend oil and water together. And fun fact, it's actually the ingredient used in hair conditioners to soften the hair. So this is gonna add a really nice softening effect to the skin as well. And it's really easy to find. You can find it on Amazon, so I'll link it over there. But if you don't wanna use BTMS 50, you can use Emulsifying Wax NF, Read Emulse SCG, it's also known as Ecomulse. This one is EcoCert approved, or 11-1000, this is also EcoCert approved. I'll link to these down below as well. And then I'm gonna add in 24 grams of cetyl alcohol. This is a thickener. It's gonna add some more viscosity to the lotion. And it's also an emollient that will help hydrate the skin. Instead of cetyl alcohol, you could use behanol alcohol or cetyro alcohol. There's also stearic acid, but that would probably add too much drag to the product. My favorite is cetyl alcohol, but any other fatty acid or fatty alcohol would work if you prefer that. And then you can add in 80 grams of any kind of plant oil. I chose apricot kernel oil. Next, I decided to add in a butter. This is optional. I just kind of wanted to add it in to show that you guys can use one. If you don't want to use it, then replace the 5% butter with either oil or the distilled water. So I used 40 grams of the shea butter. Mango butter would be a good alternative. And before we heat these up, you want to grab your scale again and then tear your scale and place your phase A on it and take note of how much it weighs because we're gonna be heating up both of these phases and some of the water is gonna evaporate. Also, BTMS 50 kind of struggles with melting, so you're gonna to wanna to mix that periodically to help it melt. And you just wanna place them in a pan with like an inch or so of water, enough to cover like the oil and heat until the BTMS 50 is melted and phase A is around the same temperature. And then you're gonna remove them from heat replace the water that evaporated from phase A, and then pour phase A into phase B, and then immediately mix with an immersion blender. You wanna use a high shear mixer for this because this is what creates a stable emulsion. And then you just wanna let it cool and come back periodically and mix it until it starts to thicken, and then let it cool to around 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius before adding in the phase C ingredients. So the first phase C ingredient I'm gonna add in is Liquid Dermal Plus. This is a really easy beginner friendly preservative. You may see Optifin or Optifin Plus use pretty often, but those actually destabilize emulsions pretty often. So I don't recommend those for beginners, but I'm just gonna go ahead and add in four grams of Liquid Dermal Plus and then just mix that in. And this next ingredient is optional, but I'm gonna add in some vitamin E. This is an antioxidant, which is great for the skin, but it also helps keep the oil fresh longer. It's not a preservative, but it helps keep oils from going rancid and antioxidants are just great for your skin. So I added in 1.6 grams of the vitamin E. 
And then I just mix that in. And what I recommend doing when you're making larger batches, which my batch is 800 grams, and I recommend doing it with this batch. I poured it in a mixing bowl. It doesn't need to be glass. It could be any bowl that works for you. And then I mix it with a spatula. That way I can get all the phase C ingredients evenly mixed in because you can't really do that when it's in a tall beaker. The phase C ingredients kind of like sit more on the top. Anyways, I let it sit overnight and here we are the next day. Obviously we still haven't added in the fragrance because I want to do two different fragrances of this, but if you're just doing one fragrance, just go ahead and add that in the day you made it. But the next day, the viscosity may increase a little bit, so that's normal if that happens. But I want to go ahead and take the pH. I am going to fill up this 200 milliliter beaker with some distilled water to use to rinse my pH meter. And this pH meter is pretty expensive, so if you don't want to buy an expensive one, you can get a cheap one for like 20-ish dollars. I'll link to that on my Amazon storefront. But if you use the cheaper pH meter, you're going to have to dilute the lotion. So I'm going to add in a little bit of the lotion into this 25 milliliter beaker. But for you, you're going to have to add in a little bit of water if you're using one of the cheaper pH meters in order to get it to be more of a liquidy solution. You want 10% lotion and 90% water or just enough water to make it liquidy. So the pH meter can actually take the pH because cheaper pH meters can't take the pH of thick solutions so if you have money get the nice expensive one that i have but if not you can get the cheaper one or use ph strips and for ph strips you would also dilute it so the ph of this product came out to be 6.25 which is fine if you left it here that's totally cool but since there's no like ph sensitive ingredients in this product i'm gonna go ahead and adjust the ph to match our skin's natural pH level. Our skin's natural pH level is between 4.5 and 5.5. So this bottle here has 50% citric acid diluted in 50% distilled water. So you can do 50 grams of citric acid and then add 50 grams of distilled water and then shake it up until the citric acid completely dissolves. And you wanna add in like one to two, three drops of that into your lotion and mix that in and wait about a minute before taking the pH again. You only wanna add a couple drops because a couple drops can go a long way with a product when trying to adjust the pH. So take a 25 milliliter beaker again, add in your lotion, dilute it if you need to, place your pH meter in, and there we go, we got a pH of 4.95. So that's perfect, it's in between 4.5 and 5.5, so I'm gonna leave it there. And then you just want to take and rinse the pH meter off. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a smaller scale. This is a cheaper scale that I'll link to on my Amazon storefront. And I placed in a baggie and made like a DIY piping bag by adding in some of the lotion. And I'm actually going to go ahead and add in this water soluble dye. It's pretty pink. I'll link to it down in the description box. And I just added in, I think like one or two drops into this. And then I'm using this vanilla essential oil here. I don't really think it's essential oil. I don't know why it's marketed that way, but I'll link to it. It's on Amazon. It smells like birthday cake. And I just added in 1% of that into this and then close it up and just mix it up with my hands. And then the other one, I'm going to make it smell like banana and make it blue with this water soluble coral blue color. That's really, really pretty. And by the way, I noticed there's like little specks of color in the pink one. Um, so I want to try to prevent that by doing something different this time, uh, with the coloring in this one. So I went ahead and added in the 1% banana fragrance oil. And then in a beaker, I added in a couple drops of the blue coloring, and then I added in some distilled water. That way it kind of like diluted the coloring and got it like mixed in with water before adding it into the lotion. Cause I think the pink one like chunked up like that because this is water soluble and it's being mixed into kind of like a water and oil mixture. But yeah, I did notice it worked a lot better doing it this way. So if you have a water soluble dye, you might wanna add it into your lotion by mixing it with water first. And if you have mica powder, you're gonna to wanna to mix that with glycerin. So you can use mica powder if you want, just mix it with glycerin before adding it into lotion or add the mica powder in at the like pre-emulsion phase. So I just went ahead and made my little DIY piping bags again and filled up my bottles, and that is the finished product. A very simple and easy body lotion for beginners 
This is an extremely conditioning body lotion since it's made with BTMS 50 and it's actually a pretty heavy lotion since it's made with 5% butter and 10% oil. You could almost call it an emulsified body butter. It's extremely similar to one and it's really nice and heavy for the winter time. So if you guys want to see like a lightweight, simple and easy beginner friendly body lotion formula, let me know and maybe I'll do that next. If you guys didn't see my last video, which was a simple and easy beginner friendly face wash formula, then go watch that video. I'll link it down below and leave me a comment down below letting me know what other like simple and easy beginner friendly products you guys would like to see me make. Make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram. I'm always posting over there and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Later.